A violent attacker on the loose in St. Charles tonight. They beat a teenager with what doctors believe to be a hammer. Good evening. I'm Samantha Jones. I'm Steve Savard. Jessamine Greer was coming home from work when the attack took place. Tonight she's recovering from a fractured skull while investigators look for a suspect. News 4's Emma Hogue reports on the brutal attack happening just a minute from her home in St. Charles. She doesn't want the lights off. She wants somebody around. I mean, she's scared to be in her own house. Staples seal the wound where Jessamine Greer was attacked. A pain her mom Morgan says is consuming her 18 year old physically and emotionally. It's devastating. I mean, <laughs> nobody should ever have to see their kid like that. Greer says her daughter was walking home from the fast food restaurant where she works just before 11 Sunday night. I heard a young woman yell out something like, what are you doing? Neighbor Chris Tainter was sitting on his porch near St. Charles Avenue and Timber Lane and heard Jessamine's cries for help. Immediately after that, I heard her yell out stop. Right after that, I heard three blood curdling, kind of crying, yelling out loud screams in a row. Tainter says he grabbed his shotgun and a flashlight, then made his way toward Jessamine to find her disoriented. I noticed she was blood drenched from head to toe, dripping blood all over the place. She was covered in blood. I mean, her whole face, her glasses, her hands, the front of her shirt, the back of her head. I mean, it was just drenched in blood. Greer says she rushed to the neighbors, then to St. Joseph's Hospital. Jessamine was treated for a skull fracture and five lacerations on her head. Doctors believe she was attacked with a hammer or crowbar. The worst thing I've ever experienced in my life, and I've been violently attacked before, and this is worse than it going through myself, honestly. As investigators search for a suspect, Greer is praising her quick thinking neighbor. I fully believe that if he was not outside, it would have been more severe. Because of Tainter, this mom says she's able to hold her daughter in her arms tonight. They were her guardian angel in St. Charles. He was outside for a reason. Emma Hogue, News 4. If you have any information in this case, investigators need you to speak up. We have the number to St. Charles Police Department inside Emma's story on the KMOV News app. Due to